This is the Yamaha DX7 and the battery has died on it after 25 years so now I am going to open it up. Open the five screws. Five screws have been removed. Now we lift up the cover and see what it is inside. Here we have power supply and then the main DX7 board. I have the E expansion board and there is the backup battery. I guess I would have to remove the E expansion board to get access to the backup battery. Check of the backup battery shows it's very low in voltage. It's been a 25 year old battery, so what do you expect? Move the expansion board to the side a little bit. Okay, get that deed off of the battery. Deed. Okay, soldered the other ground to the board. The RAM now should be 3.6 3 volts now. Okay. Secure the battery with a cable tie. Close the case. RAM is corrupt. So we have to Initialize it. Do it. Okay, and it's initialized. There we are. There you have it. And that's how we change the battery of a vintage Yamaha DX7 keyboard without taking the battery. It would have been much more effort to and plug all the cables and take out the motherboard and desolder. We just piggyback the battery onto it. Thanks for watching.